Hey friends, welcome back. We got a huge shindig, big party coming up this weekend. Gear, tools, supplies, materials, everything all over the place. So I figured I would just knock out a whole bunch of stuff that just needs to get done today and bring you along for the ride. I've been meaning to finish the sheath up for a little bit. It's just been sitting out here waiting. So I might as well go ahead and knock that out. Tuesday morning right now, and Tuesday mornings I, I have breakfast with my buddies, and we do uh, like a Bible study, and just chit chat about life and whatnot, and get together, and I'm heavily caffeinated at the moment, so I'm riding the lightning right now, <laughs> gonna get it as much done as I can, while um, I'm on the juice, so got a little, little shake going on, I think I drank like five cups of coffee, <laughs> but uh, but feeling good, woo, feeling good. <laughs> What are you doing, girl? That's a good dog. That's a good dog. My wife loaded up a whole bunch of rocks and we're gonna be decorating, distributing, do a little landscaping with those. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life. And I don't think there's anything more true than that. <laughs> if you take care of your wife, you do the things that she asks, life is much easier. <laughs> And I tell you what, when you do these things, you put your personal wants and desires aside and you do something, you do more stuff for your wife than you do for yourself. You won't regret it, at least not in my situation. 99.9% .9 of the time, man, I would do anything for my wife. She's uh, my best friend. I love hanging out with her. She she would do anything for me and I would do anything for her. And, and uh, if making her happy means hauling around and moving a whole bunch of big heavy rocks then that's exactly these are the small ones <laughs> these are the little ones we've got some jumbo ones over there that are well over 100 pounds so if that makes her happy then that's what we're going to do there she is look at her go My wife puts safety first, too. <laughs> I wanted to load up 75 pounds of gravel myself. I would have gone to Gregory's Creek. All these miscellaneous moto parts that I've been holding on to forever, I'm never going to use them. Might as well just get rid of them. So something that I never get rid of, at least I try never get rid of, is hardware. Nuts and bolts and screws and stuff like that. Seems like I always find a use for them. It's really convenient when you're uh, doing a project and you need just one thing. You need one nut and you have got it because you saved it from a previous project. <laughs> Where's she going? Oh. Love you! Don't scratch my truck! I've really one, been wanting to turn all this into a usable kind of workshop space, but what it's resulted in is just a pile of junk. So I'm cleaning all this crap out. I've had it. I'm tired of it. 
no more. There's always this internal struggle inside of me. The I want to save everything because just in case, you know, what happens if, you know, tomorrow comes and I can no longer get that thing at the store. So I want to hold on to all that stuff. But the other side of me says, oh, man, it feels so good to get rid of a whole bunch of crap and free up some space. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. You know, I want to be able to, you know, have a dance party in here, you know, cut a rug or something. And right now it's just not happening. So I, and I'd like to be able to park my motorcycles up here, you know, be able to work on them and on a dry floor instead of the gravel and have some nice lighting and things like that. Maybe that maybe that's what I'll do. the body work the body putting tools away parts for motorcycles one more thing that's got to go my wife wanted this sink thing for a like it's been like three four maybe five years ago she wanted this sink thing so bad but it's been sitting right there forever since then and it's never going to get used i'm getting rid of it we're donating it it's going to a to a better home somebody will love that this is a huge, big black tarp. That's gonna be our slip and slide. We call it our redneck slip and slide. Gotta watch out for the brown recluse. Brown recluse in here. That's where I'd be if I was a brown recluse. A big bucket of PVC fittings and stuff, you know, miscellaneous plumbing supplies. And there they are, I've been looking for them. They've been stuck in there. Gotta run some stuff over to the other side of the creek. Why walk? Why walk? shelves that I made for my mom, me and Eli actually, my son made for my mom a while back, cut for just, uh, I don't know, some storage outside, I guess, but, but she wanted some shelves, so we made them, but I have yet to deliver them, so that's where they're going. On the moto! Shooting clays. Love shooting clays. Shotgun shooting is probably my favorite of all the targetry. I like shooting shotguns. Spare steel targets. Problem. Found a wasp nest. So those little paper wasps, and they are angry. Angry son of a guns. Yeesh. Here's one right there. I hate getting stung. I got stung one time. I've been stung by stingrays, okay? Twice I've been stung by stingrays, two different occasions, on the same foot, within an inch of each other, about a year apart. And ever since that very traumatic incident of being stung by a stingray, which is pretty terrible, if you've never, never had the opportunity to get sting, stung by a stingray, I... Do not recommend it. <laughs> it was pretty awful. Pretty horrendous uh, experience. But anyway, ever since then, I've got this like PTSD syndrome where the just the thought, it's not even the pain no, so much. It's just the thought of something stabbing me and injecting me with its poison. It's venom. It freaks me out. Ugh, I, I don't like it. But anyway, I get stung a lot every year and it really irritates me. And I'd like to get this nest out of there. So I'm going to... Oh my gosh, I hate them. I hate them. This wasp removal apparatus. 
I hang on to a lot of scrap lumber too, but to be honest with you, a chunk like this, how valuable is it? Probably never do anything with it. I'd like to pull those lag bolts out though. Gosh, I, my frugality is getting the best of me. This means war. Steering's broke. Gotta work on that. Standing in the fire ants. Didn't even notice it till they started chewing on me. What are you doing in there? She's not gonna like this. Well, I was I was staring out in space and then I heard spiders, so I like, freaked out. It's just a little spider. All right, that's my hand. Right next to it. 
scaredy cat girl. This thing is hideous. Place is still a mess, but drastic improvements. Cleaning off all the shelves. Really organized all this back here. And Christy even went as far as putting some stain, not stain, but sealer on the floor. Totally unnecessary, I told her, but she was, she was uh, determined. All my nuts and bolts and screws and hardware and stuff, easy access now, much better than it was just stacked up here and piled up on the, uh, on the uh, table. And I even put in a mirror. Bonjour. <laughs> Tools, perfect spot for my toolbox right there. Got a place to put the motos. I can even turn them around in here, which is fantastic. The reason I'm doing this, my motivation behind cleaning this place up, one, Yes, I've got an awesome workspace now that's up off of the gravel where I can get some stuff done as long as I keep it maintained like this and don't let it get turn into a cluster like it was before. I'm motivated to clean this up because we've got this big party coming up and we're going to have tons of people here, family and friends. I'd say at least 50 people, uh, maybe more. Uh, in events in the past, we've had, geez, 75-ish people and it's... It's a big deal to me to be able to have a place where people can come and just feel welcome and, and enjoy themselves and be surrounded by good quality people with no uh, agenda other than just being near one another and enjoying each other's company. And that's what it's all about to me. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in the world right now, guys. There's uh, attempted assassinations and problems and struggles and and wars, and and there's a lot to worry about. But there's a whole lot to be grateful for, to be appreciative for, um, and and we, we have to remember that. We can't get so caught up in the troubles of the world that we forget how awesome life can be. Um, and a lot of people are, they, they a lot of prepper types, you know, a lot of people watching, like you, for example, you might be one of these people, Someone has done you wrong somewhere. More than one person has done you wrong. So what you've done is you've you've shut out the world, you've isolated yourself, and you've become this, this lone wolf. And, you know, if that's the way you want to live your life and you're happy, fantastic. But in my experience, most people aren't truly really happy until they start having people in their lives, family and friends, that they can that they can just share stuff with and enjoy their lives with. And if you shut people out because someone did you wrong, you view that, you know, you've, you've been offended or whatever, and you've just saying life is easier without people. Yeah, maybe, you know, there's going to be less drama <laughs> for sure. If it's just you and your dog, perhaps living on a hill somewhere, life will be a lot, whole lot, lot less problematic, but not nearly as, as full, not nearly as, Not nearly as enjoyable. It's the family and the friends. It's the people in your life that really, really matter. And when the times get tough, which seems like America's headed that way, when times get tough, it's those people that you're going to be reliant upon. And it's, the, and it's those strong bonds, those relationships that you build now, right now, that matter more than anything else. Anyway, guys, I really do appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I cannot wait to see you on the next video. I'm headed to the dump. Look at this load. Still more stuff to sort through. Truck load, going to the dump. Make sure the cat's not in there. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I'll find her in there if I open it up and start emptying out at the dump.